good day. I'm Carlene Brown Thompson and this is your JIS News for December 10. The upcoming winter tourist season promises to be an exciting one for the country, with approximately 1.1 million airline seats already secured. In his message to mark Tourism Awareness Week, Portfolio Minister Dr. Wicker McNeil credited this to the aggressive attempt to diversify markets. For the winter tourist season, we'll commence an inaugural non-stop flight from Moscow, Russia starting on January the 1st, 2013, into Montego Bay. We've also confirmed flight service from the Czech Republic, starting December 20th. In addition, there'll be non-stop service from Paris, France. The minister says preliminary figures from January to November revealed that stopover arrivals increased by 2.4 percent, while cruise arrivals rose by 26.6 percent over the same period last year. Earnings for the sector so far represent a 3.2 percent increase over last year. Tourism Awareness Week is being celebrated from December 9 to 15 under the theme Tourism for All, All for Tourism. Cabinet has approved a $45.88 million contract to carry out work under the Fruitful Vale Water Supply Scheme in Portland. Bacchus Engineering Works Limited is contracted to replace the sewage pipeline and complete the water supply infrastructure for the scheme. This is part of the Basic Needs Trust Fund aimed at reducing poverty by targeting low-income communities. Fruitful Vale and surrounding communities have been without piped water to their homes for years. The project is being funded through a grant from the Caribbean Development Bank. 500 houses destroyed during Hurricane Sandy will be rebuilt by Christmas. The work is being done through a partnership between the government and Food for the Poor. The Jamaica Defense Force Engineering Unit has been brought on board to complement the workforce on the project. So far, work has started on 82 houses, with 28 completed. Minister with Responsibility for Housing, Dr. Murray Sky, says Crown Lands, owned by the Commissioner of Land and the Ministry of Housing, have been identified to relocate those those homeowners who were living in unsuitable locations. And what we have been doing is to do some rapid mobilization of the, of the equipment owned by the National Works Agency to get um, all be temporary roads into these areas so we can establish and construct these houses. Meanwhile, 5,000 homeowners whose properties were not destroyed have been issued with checks ranging from $30,000 to $60,000 to help with repairs. They are among 16,000 persons identified for voucher assistance. The country's first credit reporting agency is now in operation. Credit Info Jamaica Limited was officially commissioned into service at a ceremony on Friday after receiving its license in March. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller welcomed the new credit reporting thrust, hailing it as a vehicle for strengthening the country's financial system. With the introduction of facilities like Credit Info, interest rates charged to borrowers can now be determined on risk-based pricing. Interest rates can be based on the risk profile of different borrowers as set out in their credit rating. Mrs. Simpson Miller said the new regime would not only benefit individuals and businesses seeking loans, but financial institutions as well. Credit Info Jamaica has so far established relationships with 26 financial and loan institutions that will provide the entity with the credit information of borrowers. And finally, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller is encouraging Jamaicans to emulate the late Prime Minister Michael Manley's fight against injustice. She was speaking this morning at a floral tribute celebrating the 88th birthday of Mr. Manley. He demonstrated instinctive intolerance of injustice through his life and that was manifested in his vision for labor dozens of jamaicans including government officials and mr manley's relatives turned out in the early morning at national heroes park to pay their respect to the country's former leader michael manley the son of former premier and national hero norman manley died in 1997 and that's it for jis news today i'm carlene brown thompson thanks for watching